guys if you're after any pokemon singles make sure to check out jgc collectibles they have loads in stock including some sealed product there also if you are interested make sure to use discount code slowpoke5 for five percent off it is scary um the next one obviously the big boy the format adp zation i'm going to put on a hot seat here is it the best deck in format Oh, cool. yes. Yes, yes it is okay yes. and what what makes you say that Logan? um i think zacian is literally the best card ever printed oh wow okay so jeez like there are a lot of potential win cons as well like you win if you're if you are competent at adp you should win most games you play unless you brick because there are a lot of micro decisions like wh when playing against uh jack miller and um well, just when playing against Jack Miller, I saw the difference in between in playing a good ADP versus player versus playing someone who wasn't as good with the deck. Okay. Like, when I played against Milislav as well, they played the deck so much better than all the random people I played against day one. And it was so much harder to try and win those games. Okay, well, talk to me. What are these sort of, what are these marker decisions? As an ADP, player, I'd love to know these. I mean, like, personally, I haven't played, but, like, Jack was talking about them all the time. Yeah. But there, there are many things, like, do you do this on X turn, or do I GX with this? Do I do certain things before and whatnot? Like, I think... I, I haven't tested the deck enough to know about the micro-decisions involved. Uh, like, I bet... I've te I played, like, one game with the deck. <laughs> Fair enough. So, I think, like, I'm only somewhat decent with Pika and, like, okay with Mew 3. You know, okay. like I, I'm not really good with any other deck. I guess like I'm a one trick. Okay, that's uh, cool. So you saying the sort of ADPization has a bit of a higher skill ceiling that people aren't necessarily giving it yet? Because a lot of people just think it's that sort of you know Uga Booga smack smack twice win the game kind of deck. But you said there are actually some. It's, it's kind of like with um, abilities odd and stuff, right? Abilities odd can be considered a smack smack win. Yeah. But it's the same thing as like. Um, it's the same with ADP as well. Like, you need to manage your resources correctly to be able to do certain things. Because, let's say you're playing against a deck that UGX with ADP, but they kill it before you're able to ultimate raid. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to manage your resources in a correct way and know what to do when to be able to gain the most value. Usually, like intrepiding, like one very small decision, but it's like very easy to make is using the right Zacian to Intrepid Sword yes. here or something yep. like that. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. But just getting to draw three cards sometimes as well is huge. Oh, yeah. It's different. That's why I've been playing the fourth copy now, just to try and get that the extra three in. Because so many times you're dead with a, a dud hand, and you're just like, oh, well, I can attach your ADP, that's fine, but I ain't got a support or anything. And Intrepid Sword, you're like, oh, there's, there's, there's one extra energy, that's great. And there's a Symphia. Oh, happy days. So, yeah, yeah, you get the attack off, you get what you need. Yeah. But, Playing against the deck is very hard as a Pico one player if they draw optimally. Yeah, it's just because that's all I've been playing Sword and Shields pretty much is ADP. I just think, my God, the, the strength of the deck sometimes, man. You're just like bish bash bosh. Here's my and you, you've got so much room as well. Like at one time I was playing Jirachi Prism just because it's me and like I could fit that in. It was working. You can play your Fear and you can play your one one if you want. You can play Galarian uh, Perserker. It's just scary. Uh, moving forward, then, obviously, you mentioned Malmo. I'm going to start getting to the Sword and Shield Cups as well. Uh, thinking about it, quick, quick. Are you going, uh, are you going Cannon Cup? What's that? Yes, I will be. Oh, I'll be. see you there, then. Just a little bit off topic there, but you guys want to know if Logan was there. <laughs> now I have to go put in my uh, fighting types. No, I'm joking. Um, uh, uh, so, yeah, moving forward, then, obviously, we've seen the OCIC results. How would you sort of, what are your flex box for ADP? And I, I know you say you haven't really played that much, but on paper, what? how would you look to take your. Uh, I, I definitely think. I definitely think Fiona is a staple in ADP, and if you don't play it, you're playing ADP incorrectly. Okay. Um, I think four Zacian's very strong as well, but yep. you can get away with three. Mm -hmm. uh, two, two Shrine was shown this weekend. Two Shrine is amazing. Two Shrines. Okay. I'm just sitting there um, taking notes here. Like. <laughs> like, when I, uh, you know, obviously when watching people like Kaiwen play the deck and testing, they played it much better than I probably would have played the deck as well. But two Shrine won them a lot of games and made it a lot harder for their opponents. Okay. Uh, I think I think Mew is very strong in the deck if you expect a decent amount of Pika. Yeah. I would I would probably play Mew going into the, the new format. Does a does a Mew sort of swing the Pico matchup much more in your favour? I imagine it probably does, right? It depends, because sometimes 
like them having the Mew down, that gives them good numbers as well, because they, they can hit you 210 with Zacian if they don't go ADP and just put the damage down with um, yep, that's fair. Mew and block the, the Blitz. But like blocking the Blitz is also very strong. So they can, they can like, the three damage counters can actually be quite relevant which in yeah. each spot, but it's really good against uh, Tag Ball. So, it, like, some people having a Mew stop me from winning the game or stop me from hard investing onto certain things which yeah. would have allowed me to win. Okay. Uh, so you mentioned Two Shrine. Are you playing, would you be playing Viridian? Is that something you saw a lot? I think... I never. I think I saw one Viridian out of the ADPs. Okay. But I think you play such a high count of energy anyway, you'll be fine. You play like twelve, you know. Yeah, no, that's fine. You, yeah. you have Guzmahala, so turn one. If you just get a metal down on an ADP, you're golden because yeah. you just need to hit the tag core. No, that's great. Yeah, tag core and all that, all that good stuff. And your crit walls as well. So yeah, Tekken four ADP. I feel as if it's one of those decks that's awfully hard tech for, but can you think of anything that other people could put in to try and shore up their uh, ADP matchup? I think Energy Denial, decks, thinking about it. Oh, okay, like, I, I was watching my uh, one of my friends play against an ADP Mirror, but the ADP they were playing against had four Crushing Hammer in. Yes, yep, yep. Uh, metal Core Barrier yep, could that's... be a tech. Um, Victini V in me too, just to kill Zacians, but that's kind of, you play it in the deck anyway, it's just good. Yeah, um, maybe fairy mimic you. You know, with oh the, yeah, that that's to gain an energy. That could, that could be a decent shout, but it's probably not strong enough. I would say. Yeah, because you won't be going behind really. They'll just smack you one eighty. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Much appreciated. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I try and power as much stuff here as I can. Full deck profiles plus games, topic conversational pieces regarding anything in the TCG. Um, check out my Twitter, check out my Facebook. That's where you get most of the updates, sort of see what's going on behind the scenes, all that good stuff. Also, check out the SoundCloud for the full um, bi weekly podcast. If you're interested, if you like the conversational pieces, go check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.